Here's your holotape, Proctor. Hope the data on that thing was worth it. Thanks. You know, it's good to see you're still in one piece. I wasn't sure what the Interceptor would do to you. You mean being zapped into energy and then put back together again? Piece of cake. You can make jokes all you want, but I wouldn't put so much faith in technology I didn't understand. Speaking of technology I don't understand, I'll get this holotape to Proctor Quinlan. I'm dying to find out what's on it. For all we know, that thing could be a recipe for Deathclaw surprise. Well, it's the best we could do with such short notice. Before we jump to conclusions, let's see what Quinlan scribes can get off of it. I'm sure the Institute has all of their data heavily encrypted, so it's gonna take some time to crack. After that, we'll have to see what we've got. There's no telling what we might have grabbed off their mainframe. In the meantime, I've got a new assignment for you. So... I bet you're eager to get your hands dirty on our new project. How much has Maxon told you about it? Why all the secrecy? We're pouring every resource we have into this thing. We can't risk tipping off the Institute. For now, the fewer people that know about it, the better. Come on, it's this way. Unless you're blind as a bat, I'm sure you've noticed that we've been building a gantry on the tarmac. Maxon and Kells have been looking for something that'll tip the balance when we go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Institute. Now, the Pridwin might be a big beast, but she's not built for fighting. That's where our new project comes in. Give me a laser rifle and my power armor, and I'll take on the world. This storage bay full of parts is what's left of Liberty Prime. The Brotherhood uses the Capital Wasteland as a weapon against the Enclave. It's the most advanced robot the Brotherhood has ever had at its disposal. Unfortunately, Liberty Prime was destroyed in the line of duty. I've spent the better part of the last few years piecing him back together. And if you think that was easy, try rebuilding a Protectron while you're blindfolded. In order to get Liberty Prime fully operational, we're going to need your help. No problem. I'm sure this only looks worse than it actually is. Huh. I wish I had your confidence. Because this is not going to be easy. Now, the good news is that we've got most of Prime's parts fully assembled. The bad news is that it's going to take more than a few rivets and some spot welding to get them working again. The first problem is his CPU. It's fragile, and every time we try to feed power to it, it blows itself out. That doesn't sound hard to fix. Oh yeah, sure. I'll just run down to the local giant robot store and buy myself some how-to manuals. As much as I hate to admit it, Prime's power systems are out of my league. Luckily, you were able to convince Dr. Madison Lee to return to the Brotherhood. She was on the original build team for Liberty Prime a little over a decade ago. I've already spoken to her, but she's reluctant to work on Prime for some reason. If you could get her down here to lend a hand with his power system, we can get the big guy moving. I finally live long enough to watch the brother take control of the company. 